Namaste to everyone in this lecture the living cultures of uh, india we are going to discuss on the memorial stones which are also called menhirs menhirs are the large slabs or huge blocks of stones used as burial monuments these monuments are found in all parts of the country erection of these megalith structures is mostly associated with the cult of death and its practices megalithic tradition has been a rich cultural practice among the tribal communities in india according to professor hammondorf's observation menhirs belong to southeastern asian indonesia oceania the philippines formosa and were introduced into northeastern india by astro asiatic immigrants hammond has come out with the theory that the megalith practices of southeast asia started in the late stone age period he further says that the center of diffusion of megaliths originated somewhere in eastern assam north burma or south west china professor hammondorf further mentions that the megalithic types of stone circles or menhirs of southeast asia type which still flourishes among garbas bodos bastar gon tribes reached peninsular india in late neolithic times and form an eastern direction whereas the domes and the portholes reached india from mediterranean regions smita devi identified such erected structures near the gond settlements in her research she says this rich cultural trend is also prevailed among the gond tribes also now let us know about the maram nagas monoliths that is menhirs where i have worked extensively among the maram nagas for a longer period to document the ethnic film on the maram nagas i request you to see the full length ethnographic film of maram nagas in youtube in my name it is published now let us see the menhirs of uh, maram nagas of manipur before going to the document i would like to thank all of these friends that is maram naga friends for their help in documenting the present ethnic vision the maram naga have the legend of uh, dispersal from the kiji konoma stone practice stone pulling ceremony burying their dead and cover the paddy fields after dispersal with the earth by using how actually this stone there is not dead body we call it a live stone live stone uh, cream too cream too yeah. this is different this is different okay yeah. i have a grandfather or grandmother uh-huh. i know that he or she will surely die Oy. before they die we usually pull the stone and bring it at home come home okay yeah. okay so, uh so like once the dead means we put it but before that also we can just pull it and bring and get ready. kept it stock yes okay this is like that one of yes, the stone one of it so this the, that those stones those stones are gravets gravets there there is a dead body inside it. yes so you call me that is a living uh, stone living stone in the side before someone died we have already brought the stone okay that is a living stone yes so those stones which have already kept that is that is the stones which already buried dead bodies we call it arau arau uh, that means a graveyard just graveyard. we call it like that graveyard so but this is the living stone yes we call so it. the stone he has brought it from uh, uh, to feel or jungle body to, to keep it on the dead person of the family members if anybody died that is why it is called as a living stone so it is a keeping stock of a stone yes. for future uh, cremation of an individual in the family right so it is nice that is a 
it has been referred in many books about these uh, stones. Okay. So that is why I am interested in these stones. Actually, we have lots of rituals rega uh -huh. regarding Even the these stones. Yes. Yes. Uh, if nowadays we become uh, like Christianity and all this, we don't make lots of rituals. But uh, olden days, it was not easy to go and pull the stones. Okay. Uh, they have then how you will be pulling big big stones that's what we need to say well to do family they make a drinks this especially the we call it azaw no the drinks we have to provide to all the people okay we food. Have, the ladies will come on the halfway uh -huh. they keep on providing them food the wine wine okay along with the chutney and all the uh, ginger yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so certain say like a if we have reached one kilometer, there'll be another group waiting for us again. Oh. We'll go to another state, there'll be another group waiting there again, providing all the types of drinks and all this, in order to uh, select in size. Because without food, we go okay. and pull it. Okay. So, by pulling only, you had to bring not on the truck car or other thing? Yeah. All the days, it was like that. I like that. But nowadays, we bring with supplements and all this. Okay, okay. By truck also, we are bringing. Yes. Okay. That is nice. So this is the importance of this uh, uh, bringing the live stones and keeping it here. So why you wanted to keep the stone? Why not the cementing and other things? Why why it is the importance of this? Whether they, somebody will take away the dead body? The culture that we have and no one can come and occupy the place where I am buried if I have to put the stone. Oh. So that is the... Nobody should occupy that space. Yes. For the living, that is the dead man's space. It should be like that. That a is why. Like a like, like house for the like. Yeah. That is nice. That is well. Sir, how to differentiate living stone and dead grave dead stone? So, how to differentiate? The differentiation that I told you is that living stone. I mean, the person is not dead, but yet we have brought the stone ahead. Okay. So, yeah. But how to differentiate? And that stone and the other that is graveyard stone. After a person's death, we pull it and bring it. That is different. Okay. But this is before a person's death, we have already brought the stone ahead. Right. Yeah. Now, so the uh, whole construction or in a grammar uh, difference to Bangam Gidra. Nati, so how did the Knoss uh, like dinner? Me. How did the grave with the kind of stone this? See, you will place the stones yeah. by construction. Is if a person is already buried here, they have to put a frame like this. Okay. Okay. But, mm. but there is no nothing here. Yeah. Right? Only the holes are there, yeah. only the stones are Just to Space the is there. Yeah. Only the space, space is there mm. in between. Mm. And also, suppose a uh, grandpa or grandma, no? they have seen with their naked eyes and they have the ears of mind. Oh, they can see. Mm. Mm -hmm. They, they have already see. seen with their naked eyes. No? They can see the naked eyes, what stone they are going to place. Yeah, I mean, I mean after that, 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 they know, they already knew that they have already brought the stone and they have the ears of mind. No? Oh, mm. they have the. They have they have the peaceful mind that they yeah. already they have brought the my children has yeah. brought the stone yeah. and they are going to keep it on bed dead body yeah they have the emotional satisfaction you mean to say yeah yes. yeah yeah psychologically yeah they feel that that happiness mm. that was expressed that is the importance of this one mm. stone see their stone Within by themselves yeah. before Some, the death yeah. sometimes when they grow too old when they see stone like this they said I'm very happy to die. Oh, <laughs> I'm ready to die even. See? Even now, by seeing the stone. Yes, out of yeah? that emotional happiness. Happy, why emotional you? happiness. Yeah. That is the importance of these uh, stones. On the basis of this discussion, we can classify the megaliths into two categories, such as menhirs and dolmens. Menhirs, single stone, erected for memorial or commemorative purpose during life or after death. Feasts of merit are very commonly associated with these kinds of monuments, sometimes with wide celebrations. The next one is dolmens. Dolmens are the flat stone slabs, rectangular or square or circular, for memorial purposes, burials and sitting places, which are also called as living stones. These domes sometimes features along with menhirs, 
and other times without so these stones are also used as a sports purposes before they are erecting now let us see the how the maram nagas are using the stones for sports purposes uh, in our language jump stone yeah this is called as jump asai, stone no? asai asai yeah asai mm. tell me what is the use of this one actually it doesn't it these lines are the line where it indicate means so the jump of the place so that means in measurement of your toe will be from this place yeah suppose where your back we, we point like this no ah. we will measure with our toes or with our heels no oh heel. so some very energetic person they have they managed to jump up this this place oh yeah. really yeah so this is the one kind of a game we will be yeah. playing yeah come on 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 Go go. Turn around, turn. Snack, 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 snack. Yeah. So how you will be doing? So we want that. Okay. Um, so the impact. The drum. With our leg or thing, uh, hand. Okay. Then either I'm, I'm possible or not. I don't know. Uh-huh. Because I never do, no. Huh? <laughs> so you have to. I have to go on and then. Huh? Here. You just look, huh? Okay. Yeah. I have to lick. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yo. And then I have the to. The ground you have to lick. Yeah. Oh, this is a kind of. I have to game. come back again, no? After licking. Ah, but I have to come back again. Yeah, we have, we have particular point, no? Oh, but if I give, say like, I have to come and lick. Okay, these different yeah. points. Different points. We have different, different points, points at yeah. different distances. Yeah. So that also determines the hero-ness of the individual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is the very important one which you can observe: the jumping, and uh, licking, and also the long jump. and short put mm-hmm. these are the age old games it is not the new games which has uh, traditionally from uh, ages it is coming we have given new terminologies that's all but it is existing from age old high jumping long jumping this is a kind of high jump which you have seen here is a high jump mm. that is a long jump which is existing uh, mm. in the society from ja- from ages mm. is quite interesting that thank you very much for this information it will be stored and it will be given to the world about this information this people may think uh, why these people are keeping the stones these are the mad people they don't know anything like that but it is a rich cultural heritage yes which doesn't have any society really it is a need uh, that means in a preservation of your ancestors that culture it is com- coming from generations which we will find only from the aborigines mm-hmm. tribals not in the human civilization actually now even the christianity is they trying to encourage this system of doing things actually now they are not encouraging but uh, in, uh, yeah yeah why they are not encouraging this is really a culture no? a culturation this is our culture where we may be modernized yet we can leave the place yes we leave the place yes. so that is what you know um continuity and change Yes. See, we have to accept the new one also, but we should not forget the old uh, yes. civilization. Yes. This is our civilization, yes, which has been given by us by our ancestors yes, for millions of years. That we should not forget. You should continue. Of course, whatever may be the religion which you have told, whatever may be the religion, whatever mm-hmm. may be the belief system, but we should not forget about our uh, ancient culture and ancient civilization. Yes, sir. That is required. Uh, for whom and uh, then there is no difference between an animal and a man yes we uh, should uh, continue this there. culture no. i hope that you people yeah. will uh, yeah. continue this yeah. culture heritage yeah. so, so yeah. among the people yeah. living uh, uh, people living cultures you are one among them in the world thank you sir one among this culture muram naga culture is uh, maram, naga. Of, maram naga is a uh, one of the culture still they have the traditional system belief system rituals and uh, all the ancient cultures they are still following i request that they should continue this culture further in future also it is a cultural heritage of india okay thank you thank sir. you thank you it is customary in almost all the tribes of india 
that after becoming a friend before leaving the place they will be offering a drink or a cigar or a gift to the friend who have visited here maram nagas are offering a rice beer to me before leaving the village so i had to accept the rice beer then only i can leave this place otherwise they won't allow this is the rich cultural tradition now uh, accepting the beer from the maram naga people this is the traditional beer thank you for uh, giving me this <laughs> and helping <laughs> me in this uh, ethnic vision uh, you are also coming another boy he is uh, uh, from anthropology department the uh, name my name is johnny johnny another boy ismail ismail who is uh, from uh, maram naga tribe himself we go on here and help with me in the filming is this document ethnic vision of maram nagas i thank all of you for Welcome. helping me this in this document yeah, thank you thank you for the rice beer thank this is ritual uh, yes, yes. Uh, ritual dress huh? <laughs> now you are becoming maram maram, maram tribe <laughs> yeah. i became maram yeah. yes one of the maram tribe maram it is customary in almost all the tribes of india that after becoming a friend before leaving the place they will be offering a drink or a cigar or a gift to the friend who have visited here maram nagas are offering a rice beer to me before leaving the village so i had to accept the rice beer then only i can leave this place otherwise they won't allow this is the rich cultural tradition now uh, accepting the beer from the maram naga people this is the traditional beer thank you for uh, giving me this <laughs> and helping <laughs> me in this uh, ethnic vision uh, you are also coming another boy he is uh, uh, from anthropology department the uh, name my name is johnny another boy Ismail. Ismail, who is uh, from uh, Maram Naga tribe himself, he came here and helped me in the filming of this document, ethnic vision of Maram Nagas. I thank all of you for Welcome. helping me this in this document. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the rice beer. Thank. This is ritual. Uh, yes, yes. Ha, uh, ritual dress. Ha. Huh? <laughs> Now you are becoming Maram. Maram tribe. Right, yeah. I became Maram. Yeah, yes. One of the Maram tribe. Maram. Kalu na na lu me na.